welcome back to my kitchen you guys welcome 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 well as you can guess today we are making my famous potato salad but with a twist these are the ingredients y'all we have one bag of um, potatoes it's a kilo two pounds basically one kilo equals two pounds and then we have an apple mm -hmm. in potato salad you may think we have some pineapples yes god mm -hmm. and i'm not sure if they're sweet or sour but we'll figure it out we have some fresh bisluck mm -hmm. that's just for carnation we have some sweet and sour pickles mm -hmm. we have some mustard mm -hmm. yep we have some mayo you can make potato salad without mayonnaise y'all my secret ingredient some yogurt greek yogurt mm -hmm. makes it nice and creamy so it's still mayonnaise the healthy way and of course we need some boiled eggs so these are the ingredients that we are going to turn into my fabulous potato salad let's start by peeling the potatoes y'all so this is what i do i'm just going to show you guys how i get my potatoes still crunchy still diced up i peel them and then i go ahead and dice them before boiling that way when you're done boiling them you don't have to go cutting up or doing anything crazy you just have them cooked they're soft already nice and diced up and you de you um decide if you want them soft medium soft or however you want them but the main thing is that it's already diced up so you don't have that problem in what your potato is gonna look like i don't like my potato salad mashy like mashed potatoes so this right here works for me and yes i have a potato peeler but i'm guyanese y'all it doesn't matter where i go live in what developed country i go live i like using my knife and i'm good at it too as you can see you see how fast i peel that potato look at that boom and we dice them yep and we have nicely diced potatoes so this is the last of it y'all as you can see the bag is empty and um oh yeah i don't know if i told you guys in the beginning of the video but i did one kilo of potatoes one kilo equals two pounds so i did the whole bag it's not a whole lot it just looks a lot or sound a lot but it's not a whole lot now clean up time and then put these potatoes to boil this is what my diced potatoes look like y'all now i'm gonna put them in water and even though i wash them mm -hmm, my adhd kicks in and i still have to rinse them out a time or two and then fill up the pot with water and you don't fill it up y'all I cover the potatoes with water just enough and then add one teaspoon of salt to it. Oh, we added the salt to the water you guys and we're gonna let that bad boy boil cover the pot and let it boil for about 15 minutes i think 10 to 15 minutes per your discretion is good enough for boiling okay so i took it on me to boil the eggs cut them up the apple peeled it diced that and the pineapples as you can see i chunked them smaller the potato once i drained it i put it in a refrigerator for like 30 minutes so that it could cool off completely so that when you mix it your mayo and stuff is not getting runny and um 
watery. Everything just stays nice and sturdy. I'm adding the eggs. These are the apples, y'all. I have more apples than pineapple because the apples are actually sweet. And the pineapple, for me, they're perfect, but it might be a little too sour because we're adding pickles also. So I didn't put a whole lot of the pineapple in it. I mix this up because I want everything to mix in properly. And if you take a good look, you can't really tell the difference between apple, potato, potato, or pineapple, right? The only difference you've seen is that egg, which is a plus, y'all. Yes. So I mix that together. And now, you guys, I'm going to add the wet ingredients to bring it all together. Mm-hmm. So we are going to start with the sweet and sour, um, sweet and salt or sweet and sour pickle, whichever one your preference is. You could just have red, sweet pickles or sour pickles, or you can do the sweet and sour. I like the mixture. Y'all know I like a mixture of things. So for this, I'm adding three tablespoons, but that's just me. If you don't like it too much, add two. If you like it a whole lot, add three four it depends on your personal preference what you like in your food i say this all the time for the mustard because mustard has a strong taste we're only gonna do one tablespoon that's good enough the mustard is just for a flashy taste a flash of the taste and the color so we're gonna put us one tablespoon in there there we go one tablespoon of mustard then we're gonna add you see why i like my little rubbery um spoon too it's multi-purpose y'all what you call it a spaddle a spoon i gotta learn the names of these kitchen tools y'all now we're gonna add the mayo mayo add as much as you want for this particular amount of potatoes i'm gonna add three tablespoons yes just three of them three tablespoons one two three and then we still got my secret ingredient mm. and y'all need to try it you could try any yogurt let it just not be flavored because then you have a whole different problem just plain yogurt it could be any brand but because i use yogurt in the morning for breakfast and i like the greek yogurt which has less fat and stuff in it in it i always have greek yogurt in my house so that works for me and we're gonna add two tablespoons of the yogurt there we go mm -hmm. and the yogurt is to help the mayo guys for everyone that's on a diet that be like i don't need too much potato salad because no we're making the healthy version of tomato salad the potato salad why am i saying tomatoes y'all i can't speak potato salad it is so now that we have all of this you guys we're gonna bring it together mm -hmm. my pepper is finished but i'm just showing y'all that i have a fancy bottle so i got some in the car the, the thing is you always have to have a backup plan that one is finishing too meaning i had to go to the store but anyway add some black pepper there we go put as much as you like i like a nice little amount of pepper some might say that's it yeah that's it some salt there we go and you guys you saw in the water i just use sea salt but for cooking for flavors and everything i like my pink salt the himalaya salt that's what i like to me it doesn't have too much salt in it it is salt but it's not too salt if you catch what i'm saying and of course i'm from the caribbean we like flavor in our food so we're gonna add some outer um, onion powder not a whole lot just a tiny bit and some garlic powder in there mm -hmm. give it some flavor some garlic powder just uh psh, psh, psh. yeah just put a little bit in there mm -hmm. and then we're gonna mix that bad boy together yes let's mix it together y'all and see what becomes of it and please take your time and fold it in we do not want mashed 
potato. Just fold it in, take your time, and you come from every single angle. And you guys, I know people that like sugar in their potato salad. If you like sweet potato salad, you can go ahead and add like, I would say a spoonful, a tablespoon. It depends on how much sugar you like, but I don't like sugar in my potato salad. So this is good enough for me. And remember, it has the apple in it. It has the pines in it. So that gives it a sweetie flavor anyway. You don't need that additional sugar. And y'all ass is on a diet anyway, so y'all don't need no sugar. So you see that y'all see that so it's still soft enough to be potato salad but you still have your nice pieces in it to tell the difference from mashed potato to potato salad let's finish it up y'all so we finish mixing it in let me clean it up for y'all because i know y'all gonna be like you could have clean it up a little bit and yes that's me tasting it, my hand, the spoon, nothing is not going back in there. You have to taste your stuff to make sure it doesn't need anything else. And it don't. You don't see me coming back with anything. I just want to clean up the edges so it can look nice and smooth. And this potato salad, by the way, is for my nephew. Today is his birthday. I just got home from work and I was not going to cook their barbecue. And so I figured, let me take him a small pan of potato salad and this is it you guys i would tell y'all it tastes delicious but y'all won't believe me anywho next time i'ma have them sit and eat it because all i'm doing is a drive by and drop off here comes the bishla the bisluck we in the netherlands call it bisluck I don't know what y'all call it in English, but that was just for carnation. Pour it up over there to make it look nice-ish. And then sprinkle some paprika powder over it. Yes, presentation plays a big role also. Yes, guys, you can't just make something, put it in a bowl, and take it and go get someone. No, 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 no. That's not what we do. Presentation, presentation, presentation. There we go. Sprinkle some paprika over it and voila, we are done.